Well, a pleasant good morning to all of you under the sound of my voice. This is Minister Rick coming to you from Hatchet Bay, Eleuthera in the Bahamas. And again, today I want to talk to us on a wonderful subject called Fumble Recovery. Boy, Minister Rick, what you talking about this morning? Fumble? Yeah, Fumble Recovery. Listen to me. A fumble in the gridiron football occurs when a player who has possession and control of the ball loses it before being downed, tackled, scoring, or going on a bounce. By rule, it is any act other than passing, kicking, punting, or successful passing that results in loss of ball possession by a player. You see, when a player fumbles the ball, the ball, either team can have access and recover the ball. You see then, in football, yeah, we talking football today, <laughs> the defensive team is doing everything legal to take the ball away from the offensive team. It can be blocking, rushing, tripping, pushing, pulling, hand checking, tackling, or poking at the ball. But the job of the receiver or the running back is to squeeze the ball tightly in his hand, sometimes holding it up against his body to avoid the ball being knocked out of his hand or dropped out of his hand when he's tackled. If he loses the ball and doesn't recover it, the other team can recover it and score a touchdown. Listen to me. Many games have been lost to a fumble, but many games have also been won as a result of a fumble recovery. Life can be like a game of football. Like the receiver, we too are trying to score in this game of life. We're trying to score a high school education, a college education, self-employment, self, self a business, sorry, or just a regular employment, a wife, a husband, children, a home. Many people are trying hard to get a home or a house. Sometimes just to make it through the day. We're struggling hard just to make it through the day. Some people are. Sometimes we fumble the ball of life. High school dropout, college dropout, job loss, unemployment, broken relationships, drug, alcohol abuse, homelessness, imprisonment, sickness. John 10 and 10 tells us that the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that you might have life, and that you might have life more abundantly. So yeah, the thief is out here stealing, causing us to fumble, but Jesus said, hey, I've come to give you life. Listen to me. The defense in your life are tackling you, pushing you, tripping you, blocking you, knocking you, and poking, trying to cause you to fumble your ball. Hey, listen to me this morning. Squeeze the ball. Hold it tightly in your hands. And even if you get knocked down and fumble the ball, Dive on the ball, protect the ball, recover the ball, rise up, and continue to play the game of life. Guess what? You can do what you know. Many people have fumbled the ball of life, but many people have recovered the fumble recovery. I've fumbled the ball many times. No doubt you have fumbled the ball many times. People all over the world have fumbled the ball many times. Sometimes Christians, people try to pretend like they're perfect and they haven't done anything wrong or made mistakes. All of us make mistakes. All of us fumble the ball. All of us fall down. I'm on the football field today. And the football field is a simile of life. On the field of football, you're trying to win the game. And you're doing everything in your power to stop the defender from hindering you from scoring the touchdown. Listen, in life, we're doing the same thing. We're trying to score a touchdown. We're trying to be successful. We're trying to serve God. We're trying to make it to heaven. But the opposition and the defense trying to hinder us, causing us to fumble the ball of life. Listen, it has happened sometimes. But when that ball fumble, pick that ball back up and run into the end zone and score your touchdown. Hey, listen to me this morning. Recover your fumble. In Jesus' name, Sila, think and act on these things. God bless you today.